Alright, so today we have a shadow and schmooze on the look I'm wearing right now. I'm like majorly slumped down right now because the bun has to be in the frame. If you're new to my channel, shadow and schmooze videos are basically where we get ready and just talk about things. I have a few exciting products that I'm using in this video. The foundation I'm wearing is actually the NARS All Day Luminous Foundation, which will be up after this. I'll have a whole review coming on that. So I didn't do my foundation, but I did the rest of my makeup. I used the new L'Oreal La Palette Nude. La Palette Nude. One. Oh, new background. So clearly we're in a different room right now again. If you've been following my Leopard Row vlogs, I'm basically doing a whole room swap right now. This is the new filming room, but it's going to look probably totally different in the background. So let me know what you guys think. If you want to see how I got this look, you're in the right place. Just keep watching. All right, so my foundation is already on because I'm currently filming a review on the NARS All Day Luminous Liquid Foundation, finally. So I'm just going to be finishing up my face and then doing an eye look. I have my shit all over the place right now. I'm going to be doing an eye look using the... La Palette Nude 1 from L'Oreal. This is brand new. They have a 1 and 2. I just like the shades better in the 1, so that's what I got. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is take the Ico London Brow Gel Shape and Define. This doesn't have a shade. I don't know if they have different shades. I've been using this every day for my brows just to kind of comb them out, and it adds a tiny bit of color. It is a super wet formula, so you have to wait for it to dry before you do anything else to your brows, which is why I do it before everything else. Let me know down below if you guys have any brow gels that you really like. I've never used them until now, and I kind of want to try more. So I'm just going to apply the, what is this, Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 15 Fair to my under eyes. This is looking super pink compared to my face right now because the NARS foundation is super yellow. I've been using this concealer every single day. I mentioned it in my March Trades and Rejects video, and I love it. 15 Fair is lighter than the lightest shade, which is 10 something. So if you tried out 10 and it was too dark for you, definitely try out the shade 15. It still is a little bit dark, but I use the Physician's Formula Powder over it, which lightens everything up. I usually put this on the center of my face, like my forehead, a little bit down the nose and on my chin. I'm going to be skipping that today since I'm reviewing the foundation. So I'm going to take my favorite Physician's Formula Powder. So I'm just kind of doing this, pouncing. And we're just going to set the concealer on the under eye. I've had the foundation on for about 10 minutes and it's still feeling pretty sticky so I'm not going to do my contour and stuff yet. I'm going to go in and do my brows while this hopefully dries and then we'll finish up the face. I just like to carve my brows out with this just to clean, whoa, clean everything up. And I'm going to have a full eyebrow routine coming up soon. Did it just get super dark? Brows are done. So the foundation still hasn't set, so I'm going to go ahead and do eyes and then come back to it. It still feels pretty freaking tacky. I'm using Max Paint Pot and Painterly for the eyes. I think I've had the same pot for literally like three years, which is probably really unsanitary, but it still works great. I'm putting this all the way up to the brow and then also underneath because we're going to be applying a shadow there. Okay, so for eyes, like I mentioned, I'm going to be using the new L'Oreal palette. How many shades are in here? One, two, three. Four. Ten shades in here. There's some really nice warm toned ones and a nice like champagne highlight one which I'm super excited to use. This is interesting. I think we're going to put this in the trash. I feel like this foundation makes me look like deathly ill. Alright, so I'm going to take the Sedona Lace 941 brush. This is just a big powder brush, lid brush. We're going to take the lightest shade in here which is like a light, it looks pretty matte to me. This is the shade 1. I'm going to put this everywhere where we applied the primer just to make it easier to blend other colors on top of it. This actually has like a slight shimmer to it, which I don't mind. Next we're going to take this rosy pink shade right here, which is number three. I'm going to take my favorite Sedona Lace EB13 brush and we're going to blend this into the crease. So far these are blending out really well and are pretty pigmented. They don't have any kind of black or really dark shade in here besides this brown. So if you want to do any kind of more dramatic look, you're going to have to use your own shadow. So I'm using the Milani Bella Black. This is just a black eyeshadow. I don't think I've ever actually used this shadow. Okay, I don't know if it's the black shadow or what, but this is looking kind of funky. Can you guys see that? I'm going to use Urban Decay Blackout instead. That looks way better. So I'm just making a V shape, and I'm not bringing this up super far because we're going to blend everything together. So I'm going to go back in with the shade that we used in the crease, number three, and just blend that a little bit. Next we're going to go in with the lightest champagne shimmery color, number 10. And I'm just going to take my finger and put this on the lid. This isn't as pigmented as I was expecting. Let's see. Oh, looks prettier on the lid. 
I'm gonna go back in with a tiny bit more blackout. I totally forgot to talk for a straight like one minute. Now we're gonna take number is it six. It's the matte brown shade in here. I'm just gonna blend this on the bottom lash line. I wanna keep this mostly on the outer third so our eyes look bigger. I feel like it's making it look uneven because there's more light on this side of my face. I am gonna be changing the position and everything of this camera, so. I'm gonna take a tiny bit of blackout for the bottom lash line on the 904 brush. Now I'm gonna take the Milani Brow and Eye Highlight Pencil and I'm gonna use the matte shade. There's a matte side and then a luminous side for like under your brows. I'm gonna try this thing. This is the Tony Molly Crystal Tear Glitter White Eyeliner. I think I got this from a Mimi box. Looks pretty. Okay, we're gonna put this on the inner corner and just see what happens. I'm literally just putting like a tiny dot of this just to open up the eye. I'm also gonna put this a little bit on the bottom. Okay, we're not doing a dot, apparently. For lashes, I kinda wanna just do a more natural lash, so I'm gonna use number 48 by Kara. I got these off of Shop Missa and they're, they were a dollar. All of their eyelashes are a dollar, which is insane. So we're just gonna apply these and I'll be right back. Alright, lashes are on. These remind me a lot of the Demi 120 Wispies. I'm just going to use the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara and put a little bit of this on just to blend everything together. When I blend my natural lashes with falsies, I find it's easier to put my brush upward and then just kind of push it right into the false lash. I'm just going to take my favorite Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara and apply this to the bottom lashes. I'm not going to be doing eyeliner in this look because I feel like... I feel like we don't need it with the falsies and the, the black outer V. I mentioned this in my 10 most repurchased drugstore makeup items video. It doesn't transfer to your concealer, it dries fast, it's waterproof, and it's amazing. Okay, so the eyes are finished, let's see how the face is doing. It feels less tacky, I think I think we're good to go. So to contour, I'm going to use the IT Cosmetics My Sculpted Face Palette. I haven't used this before, I've used this like a couple times just like playing around with it, but I haven't really given it a fair go. There is a white powder in here, which is mostly the reason why I bought this palette. I absolutely love my Sedona Lace Contour Palette with the white powder. I've mentioned that probably 10 times on my channel, but we're gonna try this one out. I'm gonna take the Sedona Lace 850 brush, and this is just an angled brush. Let's go in with this shade right here. Alright, so that actually blended out super nicely and is a lot more pigmented than I remember it some unknown black stuff going on. I'm gonna take a little bit of this shade right here, which is a tad lighter, and put this on my forehead. Now I'm gonna go in with the white powder and put a little bit of this on my chin, my forehead, and then a tiny bit under the eyes and just see if it brightens it up at all. I have a whole video on how I highlight and contour, which goes in depth about all of this. I feel like that white powder basically did nothing. When you swatch it on your finger, it shows up, and then when you blend it into your skin, it just kind of disappears. Let's test out this highlight. There's like a light pinky highlight in here that looks pretty chalky. Let's try it out. Put this on the cheekbone. Whoa, that was a lot. Oh crap. I'm also gonna take this down the bridge of my nose. My cupid's bow. I'm just gonna take a powder brush and blend that out. It is actually really pretty on the skin. I actually like that highlight. We need some major blush right now because I feel like I look like I have an illness with this foundation because it's so yellow toned. I'm gonna go in with the Paula's Choice. They came out with this palette, which is really cool. It's a blush contour palette. I'm gonna take my 813 brush by Sedona Lace. What shade should we use? I think we're gonna take this kind of, I don't even know what this is. We're gonna take this shade right here. Blends out super easy, it's pigmented. I like it. I think I have a $10 off coupon code for you guys for Paula's Choice, which I'll link down below. For lips, I think we're just gonna do a nude. I haven't tried this combo before, but we're gonna go in with these two bad boys. This is the NYX Extreme Shine. Oh, that's not what I wanted. NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Stockholm. And then we're gonna go in with this Revlon Gloss over top. It's definitely more like orangey tone than I wanted, so I think we're gonna go in with we're gonna go in with the Revlon 002 Pink Pout lipstick. This is like a matte pinky purple. 
Okay, it's definitely more what I was thinking in my head. So we're gonna go with Sugar Mama by Gerard Cosmetics. This is my favorite pink lip gloss of all time. The light does kind of bother me. I feel like it's harder to see what you're doing. I think that's everything. All right, so I zoomed you guys in so you can see what the makeup looks like up close. And by zoomed you in, I mean I'm just leaning forward and my legs are getting a workout. I actually really like these lashes without the eyeliner. If you guys like this video and you want to see more Shadow and Shrews videos, give it a thumbs up so I know. Again, the foundation that I'm wearing right now, the review will be up after this video, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on that. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye. Oh, 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 oh